we're excited to release Attribute Management for Divi 5, which can selectively or collectively copy, paste, and reset attributes across elements. It's the most comprehensive attribute system for any builder. You can copy styles, presets, and content from one element and paste them onto another. You can copy attributes at the field level or group level and paste them at the element level. You can even selectively manage group level attributes via the right-click menu, allowing you to, for example, reset certain aspects or parts of an element. You might be wondering what all that means, so let me just show you how it works. Right-click any element and click the Copy Attributes button to copy all its attributes to your clipboard, including presets, content, and modified styles. You can also copy attributes from an option group, a tab, or an individual field. Once attributes have been copied, you can paste them onto any element. Relevant attributes will be mapped to the target element while unsupported attributes will be ignored. When I copy attributes from this blurb module and use the paste all attributes option on a new blurb module, the blurb's content, styles, and presets are brought over. Since we copied everything and pasted everything, we essentially created a duplicate module, but it's illustrative of how the attribute management system works. There are many ways to paste attributes selectively. If I choose the paste all design attributes option, only presets and styles will be pasted, leaving the module's original content attributes intact. Revisiting our previous example, you can see that pasting design attributes brings over the original module's styles without overriding its content. Similarly, you can paste only presets, only content, or only modified styles. However, the granularity of attribute pasting goes much further with the ability to selectively paste any attribute type to specific option groups via the top level right click menu. For example, I have a button preset on this call to action module that I would like to use on this contact module. Instead of opening the module settings, navigating to the button option group and selecting my desired preset, I can copy attributes from the first module and then selectively paste the button preset. That same level of control is available when resetting attributes. You can quickly reset all attributes of a specific type. For example, resetting all presets will remove all presets from this module while leaving its content and modified styles intact. Furthermore, I can selectively reset different types of attributes for specific option groups. Back to our previous example, removing that button preset can be done via the right-click menu without ever opening the module's settings. Finally, that same level of control has been extended to the right-click menu for option groups, allowing you to paste and reset specific categories of attributes selectively. To top it all off, we added keyboard shortcuts for all of these actions and surfaced shortcuts in the right-click menu for ease of use. This new system for copying, pasting, and resetting attributes is available today, and it's one of many features coming to Divi this year. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. The tedious work is behind us, we built the super fast foundation, and now it's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features, whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, I recently gave a sneak peek of Relative Colors. We're overhauling Divi's color field and introducing HSL support with a refined focus on color variables. Using new hue, saturation, and lightness controls, you can easily create relative colors based on your website's global color palette to design mathematically beautiful color systems. Click the link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have a favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by liking this video. In my last feature announcement, I asked you to help us beat our all-time record of 580 likes, and we did it with 680 likes. Do you think we can beat it again? Can we crack 700 likes in two weeks? Lend us a hand 
and like this video. It's a great way to help us spread the word about new Divi5 features and keep the momentum going. Remember to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update. I'll see you soon for another Divi5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.